In today's episode, we discuss a surprising One Piece localization with Romance Dawn, we take on the last letter of the alphabet in Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z, and we find out what war is good for in Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare. All this and more on today's Gaming Soon. Hello everybody, how you doing? Did the kill it Tia and... Hey Roka, what are you doing? Playing Link to World. Why? Because I want to. I mean, I know it's a fun game and such, but... We're in the middle of recording a new Game Soon episode. So? Can't that wait till later? No. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Are you... Then I guess we're not going to be able to talk about the new One Piece game coming soon. That's what I thought. And this One Piece game we're talking about is One Piece Romance Dawn for the 3DS. Yes. And what else are we talking about today? Well, we'll talk about the other two after this one. Okay? Oh, okay. We're starting starting yeah. different today. Yeah, a little bit All right. differently. All right. And I know you. And I know you're gonna be excited with this because you're a big One Piece fan. Yes, I am. And this game covers like most of the major story arcs from the beginning to. Rescuing Ace from the Navy. Yeah. Yeah. Marine. Well, is that a name for that story? Yeah, they don't really follow the series as Mary much Ford, as you yeah. Mary Fort? Mary Fort. Mary Fort. Okay, yeah. And, um, two things that surprised me about this game. One, it was originally released for the PSP a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And two, it's an RPG. Yes. I never imagined a One Piece formatting well to the RPG format. You'd actually be surprised, there's actually quite a few One Piece RPGs. Really? Yep. Uh, most of them got released for, like, Game Boy Color. Oh. Uh, amongst all the other, uh, other things. Okay, I guess I've been proven wrong by the One Piece knowledge point there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's kind of an exciting event for, uh, for me that we're getting it localized here uh, because I thought it looked cool when it came out on PSP. Uh, I thought it looked even better when it comes out on, when it came out on 3DS and now I'm excited for it because it's coming here. So day one buy for me, no doubt. Yeah and the trailer that they showed off for this, I found amusing because they have English text up on the 3DS. They have the system is up with playing the Japanese version. <laughs> they got lazy. Yeah, pretty much with this trailer, but hey, it still did a good job showcasing the um, game mechanics, showing off the characters, and the ability to enhance your characters. Yes. That's what I found that amusing when I pointed that out, like... Because no other RPG's ever done that. Exactly. <laughs> um, now that they've done Romance Dawn, now they need to work on bringing over the Digimon World remake. Uh, Redigitize, I think? Yeah, I know that's out for the 3DS in Japan. Yeah, they need to localize and bring it over here. Well, considering that the new Digimon series is airing on Nickelodeon, I'm pretty sure we'll see a new Digimon game soon. I hope so. Uh, Digimon's another one of my favorite franchises because it's something else I grew up with. So, I figure if there's, if Romance Dawn, the one game that I figured wouldn't get localized over the Digimon game, gets localized, I feel like there's actual real hope that we'll get digitized as well. There's actually a really big, um, what, petition for it, and the people yeah. over it, I think, I think Namco. And Dynamco mentioned that they knew about the petition, so there's some, there's pretty good, pretty solid hope, I think. Yeah, so, Romance Song comes out next year, I think around February? Yeah, it's in February, like yeah. the 20th, around the 20th, I think. Well, we'll double check, we'll put the release date, uh, way somewhere, here, somewhere. somewhere. Here. <laughs> we'll put it somewhere. Yeah, it's around here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, why want a subject of anime? Dragon Ball the Battle of Z. Yeah. Actually, looks pretty neat. It feels like they took the idea from Tenkaichi Tag Team, which is a PSP game, and then they brought it to consoles. Yeah, and instead of being like 2 versus 2, it's like now 4 versus 4. Four. I have no idea. Well, no idea. They, well, they, well I'm assuming it's 4 and 4 because they say 4 versus 4 in the trailer. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Yes, and it's also going to have 8 player online battles as well, so that's pretty neat. That's gonna be interesting, so I hope the next one will suffer it. Hopefully it won't. Uh, you never know, but and it's gonna cover from the same saga all the way up to Margin and even covers the recently released um 
underneath them back to a pop gun. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, because they featured a Super Saiyan God, which is the most laziest Super Saiyan design. Ever. Again. Yeah, yeah, it's like a lighter color Kaioken. Yeah. And then, and what was on the subject of Super Saiyan God? They cheated because you're supposed to have six full blood saints, but they use like two you... full bloods, three half blood, and a baby that wasn't even born yet. We use so the like, Super Saiyan uterus for that one. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. That's like <laughs> it's lazy, <laughs> and they cheated to get that full. Toriyama's got lazy. And as far as the game is concerned. I find it funny that we gave the game based off the movie, but not the actual movie itself in America. Right. Well, maybe at some point. I figure maybe they're just kind of gauging the interest for it with, uh, with the game, which seems kind of like a bad idea, but... Oh, but Pat, maybe Tori don't trust Fox releasing the movie in America because of how god awful Dragon Ball Evolution was? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. But still, you know... I'm looking where our eyes are because because it does seem like the same Tenkaichi formula, but they're stepping it up a notch as well. So. Yeah. Well, four notches, I guess. <laughs> four notches. <laughs> four notches. Yeah. So we're both gonna be keeping an eye on this game. Yes. It comes out in January of next year for 360 and PS3. I'm surprised they're not coming out on next gen, but maybe in the next two years there'll be a next gen where we're gonna be playing the game. And what's last? Last is Plants vs. Zombie Garden Warfare. Yeah, it actually looks pretty good. I saw a really long gameplay uh, vignette, I think. For, uh... Gameplay footage yep. off of YouTube. Yeah. And like, I got handed the pop cap. They did a spectacular job of combining Plants vs. Zombie into like a third person multiplayer. Right. It very, from what I've seen from the uh, vignette, because they, they, it had commentary with it, and they went over a lot of the uh, aspects of the game. It takes a lot of its hints from Team Fortress 2. Yes, but from the graphic designs to the racky gun design, like, I even saw in the trailer, they had like a dolphin shotgun. Yeah, a dolphin shotgun. <laughs> I mean, I think that's pretty. I mean, it's it's obviously meant to be like a cartoony shooter, yes. um, but I think once it gets a price drop or two, I would definitely consider uh, getting it myself. Yes. Yeah, I am looking forward to getting this game too. My only right though is it's gonna be an Origin exclusive because you know, oh. published by EA. But still, that's a minor. That's a minor gripe. Well, my is not give me for what otherwise going to be a fantastic multiplayer game. Yes. And an obviously competitor to Team Fortress 2. Well, maybe. So, <laughs> this game is also coming out in February for the 360, Xbox One, and of course EA's Origin service on the PC. Mm -hmm. So, definitely keep your eyes set on this game because. I keep my I've been keeping my eyes on this game ever since they announced it at E3. Which was a surprise hit there because nobody saw it coming until somebody leaked info about it. Sometimes the more popular stuff just happens to be what you're not really expecting. Exactly, so anyway that's it for this week's game you soon. Um I hope you enjoyed it. Um be sure to comment if you like it and um if you want give us some tips of, of upcoming games that you like for us to cover. Yeah. Yeah, so catch you later, gamers. Take it easy.